Hi and welcome to Old School Blues Guitar. It is time for the Lick of the Month, the Classic Blues Lick of the Month from for January, February, excuse me, March 2017. And for this month's lick, since I didn't have any requests, I just kind of picked the first cool lick that I heard as I was listening to different music from the 50s and 60s. And there's a tune called Someday by Robert Nighthawk, which has a real simple idea. You guys who are just getting started in blues guitar and you try to learn some licks that you can mix in with single string runs and make your, your playing sound a little more interesting. This is an easy one and you can use it in a lot of different ways. In fact, I'm going to show you one example from a tune called Someday by Robert Nighthawk and then I'm going to show you a variation on it. It's used by Albert Collins, who's the more modern day blues guitarist. And so, pretty simple difference. The first example, this Robert Nighthawk song, is in the key of E, and it's standard tuning, and he plays regular guitar. Normally, Robert Nighthawk is known for his slide guitar playing, and we'll get into some of his slide stuff later since I figure it out. But let's say we're playing in the key of E, so, and the tune is a shuffle. It's in, starts out in B, a lot of his soloing in the first position blues box in E. And he does some cool licks. He does something like all kinds of tooling around. He does two solos in the tune. In the first tune he's playing mostly the single string runs and he does some some of that basic stuff. Now when he gets to the second solo verse he, he does a solo sings a verse, if I remember the song right, and then he goes into the solo. And he just does this kind of hammer-on thing. Before he, he cuts and plays something different. And as a general rule, if you're in the first position blues box, what you do is you go to the second position blues box. And then you just play the double stop, but you put one finger, I'm going to put one finger over, this will be the 15th fret if I'm playing an E. And I get that, but then I'm going to hammer on with my ring finger on the 17th fret, second string. And I'm picking both the second and first string. This is a lick, I, I did some stuff on, on Buddy Guy's playing, I think I may have taught this as a Buddy Guy lick, I can't remember, I hope I'm not repeating myself, but he does this type thing a lot with that same lick, but Robert Nighthawk in this tune someday, he's just, and you can mix it up and use single string run. and work that lick in into the second blues box. And so, another way to look at it is just this lick, which is an A7th lick. And you just bar in the first two strings, the first finger, and then doing the hammer on with the third finger. It's easy to move around. So let's say we're playing an A. Here's the second position blues box. That, that would be a D7th lick. So we bar. Hammer on there. If we're playing in G, here's the second blues box. And so in blues playing, that lick is often used like in a solo. And if you listen to soul, like a lot of 60s soul, Memphis soul, muscle soul stuff, you hear a lot of guitar players use that kind of lick, but not played there. It's usually played right over the first position blues box, and that's a lick we're going to get to next. So there is one lick using this double stop hammer on. I'm not sure what they call this officially, but it's kind of cool. Now Albert Collins, who was a great guitar player, he used a capo and had like, a, I think it was C minor tuning. He had a weird tuning. Later I'm going to try to figure that out and try to do some lessons. I've always wanted to kind of play like he did. But you can play a lot of his ideas just in standard tuning. And so let's go to the key of D, which is a typical Albert Collins tune or uh, key. And that same idea, so before, if we were doing that lick, we would have done it over the, to the G7. But if we play it over the first position, the one, we get this. 
And Albert Collins would do these things where he'd go, which is kind of a cool lick over that same thing. A lot of soul guys, you hear him do this. song or something where I picked that up from. But anyway, instead of doing that this time, he's going to pick the individual notes. And you can do it the other way. Start on the first string. And what I'm doing is the same thing I did on the Robert Knight Hawk lick. Hawk lick. I'm barring the first and second strings with my first finger, but this time the D. And I'm playing over the D. So I'm in the key of D. I'm playing over the first position D bar chord. And then my ring finger is going to hammer on to the 12th and pull off. Hammer on, pull off on the 12th fret of the 2nd string and the 12th fret of the 1st string. So it's... And you hear Albert Collins use that instrumental tunes like I think Frosty he does that and some of his, his others. So that position you can use kind of as a more raw blues thing or a more melodic. Commons will play that. And then it's kind of a neat little lick. So if you've heard some Alva Collins and you've heard him use that, that's all he's doing as far as I know. Again, I'm not, I haven't seen him live much. I've seen some videos, but I've never noticed him playing that lick and exactly where he plays it, but I'm not sure where else he'd play it. And that funky tuning he uses, then maybe there's somewhere else. But if you want to play that lick in standard tuning, is played over the first position bar chord. So if you're in C, a couple Albert Collins tunes in C, just do the same thing over the first position bar chord. That's the lick of the month, licks of the month. You got kind of a bonus one there. If you have any licks from specific classic blues songs, solos, you know, intros, fills, anything like that, let me know. If I know it, I'll teach it. If I don't know it, I'll figure it out and we'll go through it together. Hope you enjoyed this lesson. I will see you again in a, in a couple months with another classic blues lick.